Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to share with uh, some people, whoever watches this, maybe my friends and family, what's going on here with, uh, you know, the whole uh, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, um, what the government is telling us is a is an epidemic, an epidemic, a pandemic, uh, wear your mask, live in fear, don't go outside, don't get close to friends, don't look at people's faces, don't look at people except for like that, and, and when you do, you're probably seeing fear, so this is what, this is what I'm doing, because I no longer trust our government, I don't trust right or left, or in between, I've seen too many things, I have eyes to see, and uh, I've seen the endless wars caused by the people we trust, caused by our country, we can blame it on other countries, but we are actively going to other countries, blowing them up, and then we find out years later that it the reasons that we went weren't why weren't the same reasons that they told us. And it turns out that, you know, they're profiting all kinds of things. And really, that's all beside the point. The bottom line is, what am I doing right now? And uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm building. I'm building on our land. So right now, I'm getting ready to grow a whole bunch of food. I have seeds growing. So I just built these. I don't know if you can see that. Let's turn it around. Just built these two raised bed planters. They will have food in them. I, I, I'm getting ready I'm out there, way in the back. I'm going to build uh, some what they call three sisters gardens, I guess. I'm not sure what they call them, but it's corn, beans, and squash. They grow together on a mound because we have some rocky soil back there. So um, it'll be easier to do that. Um, I built this shed. It's very messy because I've just been going to town and and I built this shed so I could store my tools into it. Um, and so, yeah, we're getting ready. We no longer want to uh, subsidize our food to uh, large companies. You know, worry about whether it's GMO or what we're putting in our bodies. We also... Just got these little fellas, so I've had them for about two weeks. Just transferred them right here. That see Jesse, my boy named them. That's Raven. That is Buddy. The white one is Marshmallow. Striper. Um, Corny. Um, what else? Maybe striper. I don't know. Anyways, they're chickens. They're cool. So we're going to have our own supply of protein. I got a bunch of seeds starting back here. I just uh, planted back here kind of an experimental space because it doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight. And um, I'm growing. Just using it. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know. But I'm using up the space that I have. I'm going to utilize every space, you know, don't let it go to waste. I'm going to have food growing all over here. Why? Because, uh, you know, I see clearly now that we can't depend, well, those who, uh, you know, none, a lot of us never really depended on our government. We just tolerated it. And so now I, I view them more as, as wolves. You know, I don't trust Bill Gates or, or even President Trump, who, who I liked a lot of his ideas. I liked a lot of what he what he ran on. Um, but we can clearly see, if you have eyes, that that's not happening. And uh, our working man is on lockdown. Our businesses are shut down. And they're making people right now beg for a vaccine full of heavy metals. And poison and people will take it people will take it you know and all you have to do is look around the world 
see what's happening in other countries. China is a great example to see where we're heading. A technocracy where uh, you can't do anything without your without your computer chip or whatever. Even this phone, the uh, camera that I'm talking into. So, what do you do? You don't worry about it. You don't you don't stress on what they're doing. You take care of yourself. And I'm taking care of myself and my family first. That's all. Have a great day. Oh, and the most important thing, trust in God. God is the rock. God is the rock. God is the law. They can tell you not to wear a mask. They can tell you not to go in public. They can tell you to go six feet, be six feet apart from people. Distance yourself. Social distance, social media distance, whatever. It's all BS. Bull shark. Um, at the end of the day, God is the law. They can't make you do anything. They can't make you take a vaccine. And, uh, you know, your property line and your skin is where you put up your boundaries around your family, around your friends, make a lot of good friends that will get your back because we know that, uh, there's a good chance we might not come back from this. Well, I'll come back from this, but the society as we've known it may not come back from this. If it does, great. You know what? It'll come back and I'll have food growing in my backyard. You know, maybe I'll eat my words. Maybe maybe President Trump will be our savior. <laughs> but at the end of the day, even if he comes out and, and there's some big like plan that this is all going on, some conspiracy channels and this and that are, are saying that there's a he's playing 4d chess this is all to take down the deep state great go for it take down the deep state i don't think there's a difference between the deep state and the state it's all the same they're all out for money power greed and you know what you can do take care of yourself and it can start in your own backyard growing even if you have a little balcony patio in an apartment, grow potatoes in a bucket, hang some tomato plants up there, do whatever you can, but don't get a, get a larger freezer, figure out how to dry meat. I'm, I'm trying to do all these things, but it only, it can only happen so fast. I got my boy, he's been out helping me, but you know, he's 11. He can only do so much. And, uh, you know, my wife's learning certain things that uh, she never knew before about about prepping stuff, and and that's a great thing because you know what? Even if even if none of this ever happened, as far as the whole uh, social distancing, all that garbage, all the fear, the mask tards, even if even if that never happened, this would all still be a good thing. Chickens, vegetables, right from our own backyard storing some uh, grains up for the future. That's great. That's it. Have a great day. God bless.